Hello, it's Rose from the Painted Toad, and I am going to be painting a classic pumpkin tonight for the Painted Pumpkin Palooza. So I thought I'd jump on and show you how to do that. And if you're joining me, say hi and let me know you're here. I am going to switch my camera so that you can see what I have here. So what I have is, this was a little tiered tray set I got from Target. It was $5 and not really excited about the color scheme here. This is definitely not me. So I was going to just paint this little pumpkin here and uh, let's see what I can come up with. So classic pumpkin color, of course, would be orange. And I have a variety of colors here. I've got yellow deep, I've got red, primary yellow. Um, so all of these are my colors. And then because I left my white upstairs, because I'm working on another project up there, I am going to use a little buttermilk, which actually that'll work well because it can tone down my colors. So first things first, I think I'm gonna actually start with some orange here and put some orange in my palette. And then let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I've been busy painting all day today. I did um, a really cute tear tray, which actually you can see the pieces behind me. I'm going to be sharing that tomorrow. I'm finishing up um, the little tiny bead garland that goes with it. So I'm just taking some of this buttermilk and I'm going to mix it in here with my orange. And let's see what... Tint I can get it's kind of a creamy yellow that's not too bad actually it's kind of the color that's already in the thing um I like it though I think I want it to be a little bit darker but I'm gonna try something here I'm gonna do a little bit of both on my paintbrush and I'm using a flat brush here and I'm gonna zoom in just a bit Ugh, a bit I am tripping over my words Probably too late. I think I told you last night I only do <laughs> creative stuff uh, until nine o'clock. So I've only got about 10 minutes here before I just completely fall apart. All right, so I'm gonna dip this in the orange, regular orange, and then I'm gonna dip it in that little bit of a creamy color that I got. So I've got a little bit of both on there. And let's come in here and see how this looks. This is actually, ooh. I actually do kind of like that color. That makes a nice mixture. Very, very nice. And then um, really important, I think I showed you on some of my other pumpkin paintings, you want to brush strokes, your brush strokes to follow the curve of the pumpkin. So that is important. That way you'll get more of a nice even looking pumpkin and it won't be all crazy. There we go. I'm going to paint all of that in like that. And then while it's wet, I'm going to have some fun um, with some more of these colors. So I'm going to do just a touch of red in a minute. Don't need a lot of red because this is like stuck in there. Okay, it just blopped in my orange going to be one of those nights. And then I just got orange paint on my light too. Um, oh, hey, Melanie. Um, I got it from Target. Uh, in their dollar section, they had this cute little tiered tray set. And I just got this a couple weeks ago. So I, I think they would still have it. But it's got, um, I'll show it to you again. It's got the farm fresh pumpkins, the little bead thing, this little square and then uh, it's a little sign that says, hello, pumpkin on it. And then it came with this little wood pumpkin. And um, I think it was it was only $5. So not bad at all. Um, but I, don't, I didn't really like the colors. But I figured I would just paint it, right? <laughs> colors are never an issue with me. Um, okay, so I went into some of this yellow deep, which is basically yellow orange. And I'm just going to kind of mix some of that in there just to get some bright spots on here. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. 
And I'm kind of trying to work while everything is still wet because I want those colors to mix in a bit. This is my classic pumpkin tonight for the pumpkin palooza. Painted pumpkin palooza. That is like so hard to say at this time of night. I think it's hard to say anyway. <laughs> All right, now I've got a touch of red on there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the red on there? No, because it's not focusing. Come on, camera. Focus. There we go. Okay, now you can see that little bit of red. I have hardly any on there because I don't want it to go crazy and take over. Um, and I'm just dipping some of those other colors in. And I want to get a tad bit of that red. Let me see. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. We'll see. But where the little, um, where the little grooves are. What do you call those on a pumpkin? I can't even think. I guess they're little grooves or lines or... Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm talking about. There we go. And if I go too much um, with the red and the with that creamy orange, might turn it a little bit pink, which I don't really want a pink pumpkin. That was the other day. Pink pumpkin. Um, this one, want more of a classic, classic look here. Oh, I think that's looking okay. All right. Sometimes when I get my hand back and then I just kind of look, I can see if I'm liking it or not. Like I said, I'm just using a very little bit of orange here. I think that looks really good. I am happy with this. So happy. Okay. And then I'm also, um, I could do the back side. I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I am going to do um, the edges. So I'm going to use my orange and cream, that creamy orange I made, and then the red. And just kind of bring some stripes down the edge here. Classic pumpkin here. Um, I could go in. I don't know if I want to add any more to the lines here. Because if I do too much, maybe a little bit of the red. I was thinking I could add brown, but sometimes the brown is just going to take over. I don't want that to happen. Just get some more of these grooves to show up. Give the pumpkin some shape. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this cream here. And we'll get a nice highlight. So sometimes I'll just use white for the highlight, but since I don't have my white down here, I left it upstairs. Um, I'm just going to use this buttermilk. And let's see, maybe my shiny spot might be over here. So I'm just going to kind of, ooh, that went on kind of thick, a little bit thicker than what I want. So here's what I'm going to do pull it right off with my brush. Not a big deal. People tend to get a little freaked out about something like that, but it's like, no big deal. Let's add paint on it and blend it in again. Getting a little bit more of my red and tone that down. I'm using the edge of my brush there to get those lines. Oh, maybe I don't like the cream. But I'll just leave it. I think it looks kind of cute like that anyways. I do like a little bit of cream. I just went too much with it. Just add a little shine over here. So my first grade teacher used to say a little dabble do ya. I think she used to say that about the glue. Or paste. We had paste when I was in first grade in like kindergarten. I remember we had like a big paste thing and there was always some kid that would eat the paste and it was so gross I'm like why would you eat paste I was one of those students that 
that if the teacher said don't eat the paste I wouldn't eat the paste <laughs> whereas other kids might be like "Ooh, eat the paste why can't we eat the paste does the paste taste good what kind of student were you were you a paste eater or a <laughs> or a rule follower no paste eating there what do you think is that looking like a classic pumpkin here that classic enough for the challenge I do need to do the stem so where is my brow oh jeez just hit my camera sorry for all the wobble hit my big camera post there we go I'm gonna get a little bit I'm just using raw umber it's like a dark brown and let me get another brush here my brushes are wet from earlier I'm going to just take some of this umber brown, come up the stem here, like that, and then let me tip it up so I can get the top of it too. And then um, I'm going to add just a little bit of detail here. So usually got like these little things that are sticking into each of those grooves so I'm just gonna extend that stem a little bit so it looks more real and I'm gonna take a little bit of that cream on the edge of my brush and just sweep it up here to add some grooves into the stem And there we go. We have a classic pumpkin. Move it down just a tad here so you can see it. Oops. See? I just got orange on my finger. Okay. So that's it. That is my painted pumpkin palooza piece for tonight. It's my classic pumpkin. So thanks for tuning in. And remember to be creative, be artistic and get connected at the Painted Toad. I'll see you again soon. Bye.